Budgeting on a low income can be very challenging, but it is so important if you want to improve your financial situation. I have always been a budgeter, but I've been reminded how critical having a budget is. When my husband lost his job this past December, shortly after our baby was born. His job was not protected under FMLA, so even though he only took three days off work for the birth of our child, this left him at risk of being let go, which he was because his job required a 95% attendance rate for each month. Having a budget has really decreased our stress because we have a plan in place and are making goals to improve our financial situation. We are a family of five who is currently living on $1,500 a month. And in this video, I'm going to share a detailed look of our 2023 budget and what goals we're putting in place to get back to normal. There are really two main ways to survive if you're budgeting on a low income. One is to decrease your spending and two is to increase your income or better yet, a combination of the two. If you don't budget, you don't know how much money you need to make or how much less you need to spend to make sure that your income can cover all of your expenses. Tracking your spending will help you identify areas where you might be wasting money or overpaying for items and services. Budgeting can also help you come up with strategies for stretching your money further and spending less. So for the first few months of 2023, we are absolutely living off of our bare bones budget. Our goals are first to decrease our spending. We have put a spending freeze on everything. This means we are only going to be paying for absolute necessities. This includes food, shelter, transportation. We are currently debt free, but if you have debts, you would want to make your minimum payments only. And then beyond our essential bills, we are only going to be buying the absolute necessities and tracking every bit of our spending. In a minute, I'll show you my notebook and how exactly I do that. The next thing we're going to do to decrease our spending is to look at our bills and see if any of them can be reduced. This month, we are actually going to be changing our phone plan to something that you guys recommended, and it is going to be cutting our phone bill in half. Our next goal is to increase our income. And the main goal here is just to replace the income that was lost when my husband lost his job. Immediately, we're going to do that through side hustles. We will be doing Instacart and DoorDash to make up that money. And then we also have more long term goals. And our next goal is to not dip into our savings. We don't want to use any savings to pay bills. The goal is to have our side hustles cover all of our necessary expenses until something more permanent can be established. The only exception here is something that we've already planned to spend money on that we already have money and savings for. For example, this month we are going to be traveling to Tennessee to visit my husband's family. We have had that money in savings prior to the birth of our baby and they haven't gotten to see our new baby yet. So we are going to be traveling to Tennessee for a few days with money that we have already saved. And then another example might be we have a sinking fund for certain items like clothing. We put back $30 a month for clothing. So if we need to spend some of that money, we'll do that. So now let me show you exactly what our budget looks like on $1,500. This is my budgeting planner. It's a Clever Fox budget planner. Um, I will link it down below if you want it, if you like it and want to check it out. I really enjoy using this. I've been using this for several months and I really like it. Um, so the first part of what I do with my budget is I sit down and I fill out this calendar every month and then there's this section up here for like monthly goals. So my goals this month is I'm gonna be switching our phone service over to Mint and I'm gonna be saving $60 a month, which cuts our bill in half. 
Um, I want to post two videos a week on YouTube to try and get my YouTube income up and then to make at least $2,000 on Instacart or DoorDash sometimes. My husband will do DoorDash also. And then this section over here are just like the upcoming bills that we have. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail on those on the next page. And then income, savings, and then I just fill out this calendar to let me have a better representation of when stuff is due and how much I have budgeted for the week on like groceries and household items. The household items include pet food, um, anything else that we might need for the house. And then this is my our income goals for the week. We are going to be going out of town on the 8th through the 12th. And so plan on making a little bit less money on those weeks. And then this page just divides up all of our bills into categories. Like this is all of our home expenses, uh, water, electric, internet, insurance, homeowners insurance, and taxes. And that comes to 575. We are completely debt free, so that's obviously very helpful um, to our bills. We don't have mortgage or rent payment. If you've never seen one of my videos before, I'll link more information about how I was able to do that on a low income. And then our grocery budget is $400, and the goal is to just spend $100 every week on groceries. Again, I've done a lot of videos on how I do that and I will link the playlist up above if you've never seen any of my videos. And then health insurance and life insurance come to just $80. The kids do qualify for uh, Medicaid. And personal household $50. Our phones are going to be it's $180 for three months of service so we are switching from our old provider to Mint Mobile and Mint Mobile it's $15 a month per line we do have four lines I have two teenagers and then two adults so we're going to be going with the $15 a month plan which is $60 a month but you do have to pay three months up front but it's no contract and I'm really excited to switch and that's going to cut our phone bill in half. I'll link Mint Mobile down below too if you want to check it out. They have other plans that go, their, their most expensive plan is $30 a month for unlimited service. We do a lot of Instacart and DoorDash and we work off of our phones a lot so we might need to switch to the unlimited plan but we're just going to try the $15 a month plan because we can connect to Wi-Fi a lot. Um, so we're going to try that out. And then clothing and education, they both go into a sinking fund. Then Prime is $12. It goes into a fund. We just do the yearly membership. So we don't qualify for food stamps. A lot of people have asked that in my other videos. Um, we have money in savings and if you have more than $3,000 in savings, then you don't qualify for food stamps. If you have EBT, then your Prime membership is only $6.99 and you can purchase some food products on Prime um, with your EBT card. And Prime also gives you access to a streaming service so you can watch like movies. You get a free ebook every month. And for me, that is like the only form of entertainment that we have as far as like streaming services and they also offer like music. So I think that Prime is very much worth it because it really counts for a lot of our entertainment. Uh, we don't have to have Netflix or Disney Plus or anything like that because we have Prime, we get free two day shipping on a lot of stuff. So my opinion is Prime is definitely worth it. And I'll put a link down below if you want to go check out what 
uh, membership options they have. This is our transportation cost, insurance, gas, maintenance fund, and our gas budget went up from last month and I'll explain that in just a second. And then our already budgeted trip to Tennessee is $500. And this comes out to $15.72 for the month. I am not including this $500 in our budget because we are pulling it from savings and is something we had pre-planned. And then at the end of the month, you can just fill this out and this is very helpful. I can show you what I did last month. At the end of the month, you can see I kind of like color code it and fill out this will. So it kind of shows you visually how much you've spent in each category. And then you can keep track of your goals. So last month I stayed in budget, I had no extra spending, and I did increase my YouTube income, which was a goal. So yes, I did meet my goals, met my budget. Um, where did I have the most trouble? What can I do to improve for next month? Uh, so I realized that I like super went over in gas because we are doing a lot of Instacart and DoorDash, so we do need to increase our gas budget because we're working more. And then actions you'll take to increase my income, post two videos per week on YouTube, actions I will take next month to cut my expenses, and this is where we're gonna switch our phones over to Mint Mobile. I'm also going to, this month, I'm going to be looking into um, pricing our insurance, like our car insurance, homeowners insurance, and life insurance to see if I can find something cheaper or just to make sure that I have the cheapest option available. And then there's also this expense tracker that you can keep track of um, every single thing that you purchase that month. And then any notes or ideas that you might have. So I'll just keep track of this as soon as the month starts. About a year ago, I posted this video highlighting how important it is to be prepared for a potential income loss while also dealing with inflation. By being prepared, we have been able to make our current financial situation work without an overabundance of stress. Check out this video to find out how we prepared.